with the smart technology, you could resolve issues than you couldn't do before. The reason being, if you look at the mobile penetration, it is so vast that you could reach anyone. This couldn't be done earlier. The cost was exorbitant. It was only the large companies that could go and take their products to the market. But today, anyone can because of the connected world, as I call it. You could basically connect your systems to a society that didn't know you before and help to solve their issues. If you look at uh, used stock trade, our mission and our objective is to democratize wealth. And if you take the 1% of the world's richest people who owns more than 50% of the wealth, owns their own stock or stock of other companies. So the objective of used stock trade is how we could take what works for the 1% to the 99%. If you take the fundamentals, for example, Apple is a known company, whether a rich guy buys it or a poor guy buys it, the fundamental of the company is the same, nothing changes. First, let me explain the traditional way that you would trade in an exchange. Today, if you're a retail investor, you will send your order to a broker, right? In Sri Lanka, you will send it to the broker, the broker will place the order. So sometimes your order goes through four hops to get executed. The used stock trade has built a platform and an execution venue where two retailers can trade among themselves without being gamed by an institution or a middleman. Traditionally, if you look at it, why did people go to a broker? There was equity research, right? And they spent time educating the client on what stock to buy. So they have researched on a company and done that. Today in a connected world, I can get any information in a company without talking to a single broker. I can basically know what the company is doing, the annual performance. I can go to Google Finance, find out what's going. I can go to Reuters, I can go to Bloomberg. Furthermore, I can go to the patent office and see what new patents Apple has filed. So equity research has been something in the past, right? And now I can at fingertips. When you stock trade built this whole thing, we are trying to educate people in understanding a company's fundamentals before they invest. So you stock trade basically bought the professional tools that the professionals used to the retail community. If you look at you stock trade slogan, it stands for Wall Street to Main Street. We're trying to bring Wall Street to everybody in the street. Earlier, I would have had to build my own infrastructure. I would have to pay millions of dollars to buy the hardware. But today, I can go and be on the cloud that has access to every place. They have built the cloud for fault tolerance. They have built the cloud for security which I don't have to invest today. And what's great is, I only pay them for the equipment that I use. So today, I have a million users, I pay them. Tomorrow my users drop to 100,000, I pay them only for what I use. So this model can allow anyone to come in which was cost prohibitive earlier if you have to buy your own infrastructure. The smart thing is from the same application, whether it's web, whether it's mobile, or whether it's on your TV, now we can correlate and get all this information and bring it to your communication device so that you don't have to go and look for this information. Let me start by telling you where this model has been successfully used. Use stock trade is bringing stock trading to the masses. Let's take one step up and say, who is the largest content provider in the world? Facebook. What do they do? They have built a platform where you and I provide the content and Facebook doesn't provide a single content. Right. So now you and I can communicate in Facebook. Then you took a look at the world's biggest reservation company, Airbnb, that doesn't own a single property. What did they do? They brought the guy who wanted a room 
and a guy who had an extra room that didn't make money and put them together. Then you look at the world's largest taxi company, Uber, who doesn't own a single inventory. What did they do? They bought somebody who wanted a ride and they also brought somebody who was sitting and doing nothing in his car who could then bring them together and then solve the problem. 